0 0.55 or is that 5.9 yep 0 0.60 and then with this piece <laughs> 0 0.92 it's almost at a gram already and I still have to deal with all of this let me zoom back out here still have all that to deal with finished panning out that material that Secret Creek Prospecting, I always get tongue-tied when I, when I say your, your channel name, Secret Creek Prospecting sent me, there we go, and it was correct, it came out to be over a gram, so let's check that out, and I had told you all two videos ago that I had ordered four different items, and when they came in I would show you, so we're going to do that today too. And it came out to be 1.19. Why is it? Wow, why does it seem heavier? I had 1.11 earlier. Let me uh, let me do this again. Seven one eight. So that's pretty cool. Again, I can't thank you enough. <laughs> that's really cool. But we're going to get a better look at this after I show you what else I got here. So I'll be back to you in a sec. Alright, so what I did is for this adventure that we're going to be doing this summer and the documentary we're going to be putting together, we all... Well, most of us. Um, Wayne has one of these. I've purchased one, and now 802 Outdoors has purchased one. His will be coming on the 17th. Mine, um, three more items came today. My rock pick hammer, the Musu rechargeable vac, which is really, really cool. Um, I can put that right in my backpack. So that's awesome. This is the base that it charges on. I'll, I'll, I'll show you all that in a minute. And of course I picked up a crevicing tool. I've just been using handmade ones, so I thought it was about time to uh, to actually go and get an actual crevice tool. So that's going to come in really, really handy. And it's all hardened steel. So this is the Tom Love digital microscope camera. It also shoots video. And it's model TM-DM9. And I'll tell you, the, the user manual they send you, it's... <laughs> like most things today. Um, they didn't show this on the parts list. I had no idea what it was. I had to call Wayne. Well, he had to figure it out. And he figured it out. It was for, put it on here, or you can use this in place of this or you can use nothing at all and I found that this one works the best to dampen there's eight LED lights underneath and there's two LED lights over here um, but it's really cool and then of course the Musu you take it out of the uh, the charging station it's got a little brush if you want to flip that down and use it 
which I don't foresee using that because these bristles are going to get worn off in no time. And of course it comes with another little snout that you can stick on there, get down inside crevices. I'm not too crazy about these two little slits in the sides because I'm going to lose suction there. But this thing is powerful. It has two settings. Pretty cool. <laughs> Just take that right apart and put it in my backpack. No problem. Very nice. Gonna be great for crevices. So we'll put that back. And of course I bought one of the cheaper. I hope I don't know how well this is gonna hold up seems to me that would get kind of rounded after a while I guess time will tell and of course it looks like it was made in China <laughs> Jeez. what isn't alright so let's take a look I'm gonna go ahead and record this with the Tom Love just in case this doesn't pick it up very good but we'll take a look at this this gold Let's see here. actually it looks like it's gonna do pretty good Gold is so awesome. Look at some of these pieces. Isn't that cool? There's one with a hole in it. Secret Creek Prospecting. Look what you sent me. Where's... Alright, who took the center out of it? I want that back. <laughs> Just kidding. Isn't that amazing, though? Jeez. Well, look at that one. Looks like a... A fox with a brown nose and a tail sticking down. Hmm. Brown noser. Hmm. That one almost looks like... Um. Oh, I can't think of it right now. For heaven's sakes. There's the big boy. That looks like a mini boulder. <laughs> Another one with a hole in it. Come on. <laughs> Tom, you like my laugh? He likes it when I laugh. I like it when I laugh, too. That is so cool. Let's see if I can flip that one over. There we go. Now 
that's the other side of it frog <laughs> but this is really going to give us a look at the what's called the stock works and that's what this is going to be for to um well I'm going to show you the in this video I'm going to put a clip of what I had recorded with it looking at my concentrates from last year and that would typically be called you know stock works yeah we call it concentrates of course that's mostly black sand we're going to be collecting actual gravels and so on and so forth not big rocks by any means but so we can see what we're looking at for your your sedimentary your um, you know, uh, igneous and so on and so forth to find out what's in the material and also get a better count of the gold because a lot of people they they judge by um, by the yard but we're actually looking at it in parts per million or parts per thousand and that's the way we're gonna do this so you'll you'll learn all that and see all that when the documentary comes out towards the end of the season it should be pretty inter pretty interesting and I hope you've forgotten what I've said by then <laughs> so anyway I'll go ahead and show you the short clip and this will be the last time you hear me talking so thank you all for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe take care I forgot to mention a couple things so <laughs> Just like the other night, it's late again, but not only does this come with a plug-in charger for your DC, but you can also bring it with you and plug it into a cigarette lighter to charge it up. And then, of course, with the Tomlov, it has a remote control with it, and which also means I don't need to show you that video I shot. on the computer I can show you right here there we go and inside this with the naked eye you can't tell but I'm seeing garnet in here pieces of garnet um, I actually saw pieces of um, olivine there's a piece of olivine right there
digital microscope model TM-D9 and the Musu, I didn't tell you what that was, that is the um, model number K12. Check it out folks, very good for little crevices and Wayne, I asked him, okay, so what about in crevices that have water in them? And he says that he has sucked up a little bit of water with his, but he wouldn't recommend, like, really putting it down in the water, you know? But, so, anyway. There you go, folks. Take care.